Hi everyone, and welcome back to um, the final bit of bonus content that we are recording tonight. And I think this is a great way to push the final hype for the final season. Whoa. Do you remember after season three, we watched Lost in 8.15? Do you remember what that was? No. no. Yeah. They summarized the first three seasons in eight minutes and 15 yeah. seconds. Oh. And it was really funny that that girl had that very monotone voice. Mm -hmm. Well, she came back for round two <laughs> and summarized the first one through five seasons Whoa. in eight minutes and 15 seconds. That is a great recap. And it's on the DVD? And it's on the Blu-ray DVD! For those watching, I actually found one on eBay and I have all six seasons in the awesome... You found it on eBay? Yeah, and it was unopened. Wow. It was great. I've what? always wanted one. And it's 10 years old. They made that 10 years ago. And they didn't open Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. Not a true fan. What the hell? How much did that thing cost you, dude? It cost 200 bucks. It was my Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when they take thanks, it. Thanks, Patreon. They might take it off Hulu. They might take it off. Uh, yeah, thanks, Patreon. <laughs> Thank you, fans. Well, Merry Christmas, David. Here's everything you need to know about Lost in 8 minutes, 15 seconds. Oceanic 815 leaves Sydney for Los Angeles and crashes on an island yeah, in the South Pacific, a very mysterious island. There are 48 survivors, but some die later on. Jack is a doctor. He has a compulsive urge to fix things. Kate's on the run from the law for killing her dad. Sawyer is a con man. Locke is in a wheelchair, but after the crash, he can walk. Charlie is a musician in a one-hit wonder band. He has the hots for Claire. <laughs> one hit wonder, the cute pregnant girl. Saeed was in the Republican Guard and tortured people. Son and Jenna from Korea. They have marital issues. Michael and his son, Walt, are just getting to know each other. Curly won millions in the lottery, but thinks it's a curse. After the crash, Jack Dude. helps everyone out. He becomes the de facto leader. Jack meets Kate. Kate stitches up Jack. They bond. On the first night, there's a monster in the jungle. There's other weird stuff, too. It's all over there. Jack, Kate, and Charlie find the transceiver in the cockpit. But a monster comes and eats the pilot. They get a signal on the transceiver. It's a French woman. Speaking French. Charlie asks. Where are we? Locke kills wild boar, loves life on the island. Jin catches sea urchins. Claire's baby starts to kick. Sawyer hoards meds to get a kiss from Kate. What? They kiss. Locke finds a hatch in the ground. Locke tries many ways to open the hatch. Locke and Boone find a plane. Boone climbs up, it falls, Boone dies. Claire has her baby. She names him Aaron. Ah, the circle of life. Michael builds a raft. The others come and take one. They block the raft. The others are the island's original inhabitants. Locke blows open the hatch. There's a man down there. His name is Desmond. And he's been pushing the button to save the world. Save the world. Desmond bolts and Locke starts pushing the button. Sawyer gets sick. Kate is worried. Jack gets jealous. Kate freaks out. Jack consoles her. They kiss. Kate freaks out again. Jack is confused. <laughs> Son is pregnant, but Jen is sterile. What's up with that? Michael <laughs> chats with Walt. Gets caught by the others. An other named Henry Gale gets caught in a net. Michael sets Henry free and betrays his friends. He gets a boat to leave the island with Walt. We're the good guys, Michael. Meanwhile, the survivors see a boat. It's Desmond. He's drunk. Locke and Desmond don't push the button in the hatch. You killed us all. The sky turns purple and the hatch is obliterated. Curly finds Desmond running naked in the jungle. Whoa. The hatch blew his clothes off and now he can see the future. Jack, Kate, and Sawyer are held prisoner by the others. Jack is greeted by Henry, whose real oh, name is no. Ben. Benjamin Lyons. Jack meets another named Juliet. They bond. <coughs> Cheeseburgers. Ben has a tumor and he wants Jack to take it out. Kate and Sawyer think they're going to die, so they have sex. <laughs> Jack sees Kate and Sawyer on an old TV and says he'll do the surgery. Jack does a trick and says Ben will die if Kate and Sawyer don't go free. Kate, damn it, run! Kate, Locke, and Saeed come back for Jack. They see Jack play football with Mr. Friendly. Mr. Friendly throws like a girl. Locke blows up a submarine and hangs with the others. They all think he's special. Juliet and Jack grow closer and head back to the survivor's camp. Locke wants to meet Jacob. Jacob lives in a creepy cabin surrounded by white ash. Nobody's ever seen Jacob, but Locke hears him say, Help me. So Ben shoots Locke and leaves him for dead. A woman named Naomi parachutes on the island. She says Desmond's girlfriend Penny sent her to find him. She came from a freighter 80 miles away and has a phone. Huh? Desmond has a vision that Charlie flips a switch and drowns to save his friends. Charlie knows he's going to die, so he says goodbye to Claire. Don't worry about me. Very sad. Juliet tells everyone the others are coming to take the pregnant women, so the survivors blow up the others. But Saeed, Jin, and Bernard get caught. Curly saves the day by running over the others with the Dharma van. Jack leads everyone to the radio tower to make the call for help. Charlie flips a switch. Charlie talks to Penny. Turns out the freighter is not Penny's boat. Patchy blows up the station, and Charlie drowns. Very sad. Locke is going to kill himself, but Walt appears. Bring it up, John. Whoa. Naomi calls the freighter, but falls over with a knife in her back. Locke threw the knife. Jack is mad. Jack and Locke have a standoff. Jack calls the freighter anyway. The freighter says they will be there soon. Everyone is happy. They think they're finally rescued. But Jack and Locke disagree. The survivors split into two camps. Some go with Locke, some go with Jack. Four people from the freighter arrive on the island. They have a chopper. Jack and his gang believe it's the ticket off the island, but the freighter people came to find Ben. Saeed and Kate head to Locke's camp. Sawyer wants Kate to stay in Playhouse. Kate stays, and everyone goes Norman Rockwell. Coffee smells good. Locke keeps Ben in the basement. Kate and Sawyer have a fight. Kate goes back to the beach. Saeed and Desmond <laughs> head to the freighter. Des has side effects. Then he calls Penny and all is well. I love you, Penny. Gotta love Des. Back on the <laughs> island, Claire goes missing. Dad? Ben tells Locke the freighter is Charles Whitmore's boat. 
Whitmore is Penny's father. Charles Whitmore wants to exploit this island. Ben rallies Richard Alpert and the others, and Whitmore's men are defeated. Ben Jeez. gives the island to Locke because he's the new leader of the others. Walk him home. Locke gets his marching orders. He wants us to move the island. And the survivors head to the freighter. But the chopper's leaking fuel. Get every ounce of extra weight off this chopper now! So Sawyer plays hero. I think we're swimming. And finds Juliet drunk on the beach. The chopper makes it to the freighter, but Des is freaked. Get the window the bomb! Did he see bomb? So they bug out, and Jin is left behind. Yeah! They head back to the island. Look like you ran to the main the explosion point. Sky turns away, and the island disappears. No way. They get picked up in the middle of the ocean. No, no. This time it is Penny's boat, and Desmond is reunited with his girlfriend. Jack, Kate, Aaron, Saeed, Hurley, and Son make it back to the mainland and are met by a media frenzy. They become known as... And they decide to lie to protect the friends they left behind. It happened really fast. Jack and Kate give it a go. <laughs> but the lie takes its toll, and Jack becomes an addict. You can't do this. Kate pretends to be mummy to Claire's baby Aaron. Saeed is a hitman working for Ben. Son has her baby and is determined to baby. avenge Baby. <laughs> Hurley is a patient in a mental hospital and haunted by the lie. I think he okay. wants us to come back. Meanwhile, their friends back on the island have joined up with the freighter people. And the island starts flashing for time. What? That's right. Time travel. <laughs> They travel to the 1950s yeah. and they meet the others. The 50s others have a hydrogen bomb. Bury it and everything will be fine. They also find Jim. Jim. He's alive. Oh, what are you saying? Yay. But the time travel makes their noses <laughs> bleed and they slowly start to die. So Locke turns the donkey wheel and sees Jack's dad. Hello, my son. The time flashes stop. I think it's over. But Sawyer and his group are stuck in the 1970s with the Dharma Initiative. And Locke pops out three years in the future in the Tunisian desert and goes looking for his friends. Hello, Hugo. They're not happy to see him. I'm not going back. The answer is no. Please, listen. Get out of there! Locke finds Jack and tells him that the oceanic sex must go back to the island. Jack freaks. It's over! Locke is a broken man and wants to hang himself. Ben helps out. <laughs> Jack grows a beard, starts flying again, hoping he'll crash. How about a newspaper instead? He reads an obituary and learns that Locke is dead. Jack is upset by this and tries to jump off a bridge. But Ben finds Jack, Hello, Jack and tells him that Locke was right and the Oceanic Six have to go back to the island to save their friends. We're going to have to bring him too. Creepy. Jack cleans <laughs> up and they meet a woman named Eloise Hawking. She has a cool Dharma station on the mainland. Hello, host. And she knows yeah, that the Oceanic Six back to the island. Ajira Airways, flight 316. So they go. Pretty crazy, huh? Over the Pacific, there's another white flash. And Jack, Kate, Hurley, and Saeed are transported back in time to... 1977. What? Back in the present, the Ajira plane lands safely on the island. Ben and Son are back. Son wants to find Jim. Do you know where he is? John Locke is no longer dead. You're alive. Huh. Locke has new confidence. Huh. Orders Ben around. Better get to it then. He tells Richard Alpert. Take him to see Jacob. Jacob is the invisible guy in the creepy cabin. He's been the spiritual guru of the island for many moons. But he has a mysterious nemesis, the man in black. Do you have any idea how badly I want to kill you? What a coincidence. Locke wants to find Jacob. So I can kill him. Locke gets Ben to do the dirty work. Then he kicks Jacob in the fire and Jacob burns. But out on the beach, the Ajira folks open up a box. It's Locke, and he's still dead. So who is this other Locke? Good question. Everybody say, Namaste. Namaste. Back in the <laughs> 1970s, it's a different world. Sawyer and Juliet are an item. I love you. Hurley's a Dharma chef. Try the dipping sauces. They really bring out the ham. <laughs> and Sawyer's head of security for the Dharma initiative. Name is... Jack is laid back now, and Kate's not a fan. I like the old you. Saeed meets the young version of Ben. I'm Ben. And he tries to kill him. But the others <laughs> save his life. I'm going to take care of you. Faraday arrives. Welcome to the meeting, Twitchy. With an idea to change the future. I'm not that man. I should not. He says that setting off the bomb will negate all the electromagnetic energy on the island. Interesting. So there will be no hatch. Desmond will never have to push the button. And Oceanic 815 will never crash. Kind of nice. Jack likes the idea. This is our destiny. Kate thinks he's crazy. Do you know who you sound like? Faraday gets killed <laughs> by his own mother. Why did you do that? So Jack drops the bomb down the big hole. All hell breaks loose, but there's no kaboom. Juliet gets sucked in the hole. Sawyer loves Juliet, so he tries to save her. Don't leave me. I love you, Jake. Juliet falls, very sad. But deep inside the hole, Juliet finds the bomb, hits it with a rock. The screen goes to white instead of black. Cool. Cool. Oh, I uh, forgot about that. Oh my gosh. That was a good summary. Wait, but I want to close my eyes. What is going to happen after this? What I think it's this? just going to go back to the. But anyways, any, did you learn anything in that? Yeah. Okay. What? Why did Desmond, after he abandoned the hatch, why did he just run off and go to a boat? Like, where did he go? And he tried he to leave. Back. Yeah, he tried to leave. He said he was sailing like miles and miles in one direction and ended up back on the island.
Uh. Which kind of makes sense because remember how Ben had to like tell Michael specific coordinates and Daniel had to tell um, Frank like specific coordinates to fly out. Otherwise yeah. there'd be like side effects. So obviously Desmond didn't know that and was just like sailing and he just ended up on the island again. Oh, I uh. forgot about that. Yep, that I love it. crazy. You guys feel totally recapped for yes. the final season of this show? Final season of yes. Lost on the Couch. That's really sad. Oh my gosh. Thanks for watching all I'm this depressed. bonus content. There's a lot of bonus content we got through. You guys are going to have a lot of content. I'm, gr I'm grateful. And season six will start soon. Next week, um, guys. For real this time. Goodbye. And Bye. we will see you soon. Bye. Thanks so much.